Liana, when you're walking into a property, right? When you're walking up to a property, right? We want to make sure that that property really um, appears at its best, but that we're doing things in a budget friendly manner for our clients because they don't want to spend all the time. They don't want to spend all the money doing all this work, getting contractors in this or that. So we're never advising people go ahead and rip out and redo the kitchen and stuff. But what are some cost effective things that people can do to get their home ready starting on the outside? Landscaping, yeah, landscaping, cleaning, make sure power wash, on the property that's a big one sidewalks yes. patios you know how they get like kind of uh dark like the moss grows on them just hit that with a power wash even especially the, now with the pollen season the number one place where if you are going to put some money into your home and expect to sell it over the next couple of years if it needs a new roof that you'll get a hundred percent return on investment on a roof garage door front door paint all of those things are all hundred percent plus returns on your investment, right? So landscaping, all that stuff, the appeal, it has to look clean. It has to look good. If you don't have the money for it, we'll help you find some other solutions. So Liana, we're walking into their home, right? What do you suggest for preparation inside the home? Um, make sure the house is very clean. <laughs> yes. Clean is everything. You got to make sure it smells good. If yeah. there's pet odors, you got to get rid of the nasty cat box that the cat poops in. Come and on. Deep cleaning. The deep, cleaning. deep cleaning. Yeah. Wash um, the windows. Yeah. And then if you want to spend a little bit, you know, fresh paint is always good. Fresh paint goes a long way. Yes. What about like if they have a lot of family pictures and whatnot, what do you suggest with that? To put it away. Yeah. Depersonalize. Yeah. Why are we depersonalizing properties? I feel like the less in the room, the bigger the room, the room will yeah. look. Yep. You know, when it's too much clutter, it makes the room look smaller. One of the things that, that Liana and I will tell our clients is, um, is simply like, look, when you depersonalize, a couple of things happen. Now people come in and they're not focused on your family. They can focus on their family. I advise my clients to do a pre-list home inspection. Now, if your home has a septic system, if it has a well, um, the possibility of radon in your home. Listen, there's nothing that freaks out buyers from the city more than these items. We really want them to not have to worry about things like septic systems when they're used to sewers. I'm telling you, people will walk and be like, oh, it has a septic. So the way we're able to get them past that is we get a home inspector out there that's reputable. The realtors know, they trust them. They, they're, they're not out there doing anything but informing people look, septic passed. It's a flow test. Super easy. It's like a $200, $250 fee, but it is that in itself is worth its weight in gold. You want to get that done right before you list your property. In addition to that is pest, structural, and mechanical inspections. And guess what? We're expecting for things to come up, but if there's things like mold, if there's things like health and safety hazards, like lead paint or whatever, that's an opportunity for our sellers to either fix that, those items or to disclose them. One other thing I'd like to say is um, pre-list title work. Okay. So if you're working with an attorney, we have several that we would uh, suggest they could do a pre-list title examination for you and make sure that there's no defects on your title. It's kind of like getting your credit ran before you go get a mortgage, right? You want to make sure you do that. You want to make sure you're pre-approved that mortgage. Well, the same thing is you want to make sure that there's no title defects that are going to stall the closing later on, especially with buyers in today's market where rates are increasing and a small increase could throw a buyer out of the opportunity of purchasing your home for the price that you want to sell it for.